Hey guys, it's Cam Rowley here, and um, the last video I did a review on the GWR King class. Lovely locomotive. Um, but today we're going to have a look, a, look at an LMS um, 060 Fowler um, 4F. Uh, these may just be words and numbers p to you, but they, I know what they are. But um, without further ado, here it is. Yep. It is a 1980 locomotive, um, well, model. Uh, it didn't it? I took the motor out because I was bored. Uh, uh, this was my favourite steam engine because I had quite a few in the boxes at home and everywhere. Uh, this was my favourite steam locomotive, and then the 2800 came along, and yeah, I still I like all of it. I like all my engines. It's just that uh, 2800 is my favourite. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the engine. Um, basically, the LMS Fowler uh, was this 060 little engine. Uh, it did have a tender. Yeah, uh, it wasn't very big. Um, uh, I think they were quite strong. Um, yeah, you may see a hole in the cab. That's where the motor was. But look at the whistles and the safety valves, the dome. It's got rivets as well. Uh, there is no motor. As you can see, the wheels can turn. I'm moving it. Oh wait. Oh yeah. By the way, the body can come off. So you know. Uh, we're not going to do that. So. Um, so yeah. As you can see, the middle wheel was driven. Well, that's where the motor was because there's a gear. Uh, it's got all the light little. It's got the uh, reversing rod there. I think it's called. Uh, it's got, I don't know what this is. It's something on the side of the boiler. Yeah. Uh, the smoke box wasn't very big. They were quite small. Um, but yeah. Uh, the fire box, which is this, it was very sort of blocky. It it was it wasn't it wasn't very curved. It was more like sort of boxy type of fire box really. Uh, the cab. Uh, is nice. These um, uh, there were quite a few of these actually built. I'm not sure how many there were, but there were quite a few. So look at the tender. Uh, the one thing to say about the tender, which I'm trying to do now, uh, is that look at that. The coal can come out. It's not real, but it's plastic. But the coal can come out. Uh, so you can put something in there if you wanted to. Uh, like real coal, just crushed up or gravel or leather. Yeah, that's a really cool feature. That's why I really like this engine because you could take the coal out. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, there we go. Yep, this is the tender. It's not very much really. Uh, the number is three seven seven five. Um, you may not be able to see because it's been rubbed off, but the number is. Three, three, seven, seven, five. Uh, the leaf springs. I'm not sure if they were accurate, ac accurate, but uh, yeah, they're cool. Uh, it's got rivets on the sides as well. Uh, yeah. The um, Scott Guardsman. That engine. Uh, that's an LMS engine as well. I'm not sure if it was a. a th yes, I did do some research after I uploaded or before I uploaded that video. Um, I did some research uh, about. I just went. I typed in on Google Images, Jubilee class steam engine, steam train, and it was a Jubilee, just with smoke deflectors on the side. Uh, but yep, the it's not really much detail, but that hook does come out and hooks onto there like that. Uh, but yeah, it has got detail on the front. Uh, the coal is nice. Let's have a look in the or where the coal would have been or would have sat. So as you can see, the um, this bit here uh, that sort of goes down, that's where the um, water tank would have gone. Would have gone. So it would have gone like from here down, and then the rest of it was coal. I think I don't know. Uh, but yeah. They, they did have to constantly constantly fill up with water steam engines did because they had to have more water than coal because they needed to have like the boiler 
half full of water or like nearly full of water all at all times because if there's no water in the boiler and the fire still lit <laughs> disaster so we don't really want that happening because that's what happened in the early 1800s when steam engines like first came into the world and everyone was like wow uh, what well, it wasn't on it wasn't hurt it it was heard of um, of boiler basically boiler it, it's hard to say but it was heard of that boilers could explode mm -hmm. so a train could be going along the line I'm not trying to scare you, but it doesn't happen now because I we've learnt. But in the early 1800s, with like the um, when the rocket was built, earlier than that, um, a train could be going along with passengers, and then all of a sudden, bang! So yeah, um, yeah, people quite, did die, but uh, mm, sad. But yeah, steam has kept kept basically they can't really like get rid of steam engines because even though we travel by horse and or horse and carriage or by a boat but steam like steam powered engines like we had them for cars we have them for boats and and then we like went into petrol and then fuel but steam sort of invented everything really if we think about it without steam engines i don't think we would have had a lot of travel that's just my opinion but yeah steam engine kind of invented other transport if you think about it because when steam engines came along people were like hmm i wonder if we could do it to boats and invent or invent a new transport a car uh, steam powered boats because I think the Titanic that was powered by steam or powered by it was like a steam engine but yeah uh, this doesn't have a motor this engine but yeah I'm just going to put it on the layout uh, so let's have a look at it shall we I'm sorry if it is really dark there's something going in back out uh, actually um one. I think that made a difference. I'm not sure if it did. But yeah, I did just put a light on. Um actually, will this light do any difference? Um uh, yes. Yeah, not really. One, two, three, there we go. I'll just keep the light on. Uh, yes, that is what the engine would look like. Um, it, this is in the LMS, uh, the LMS Red, but um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, but yeah, uh, these woods would have been like this, and then they would have been changed into the uh, British Rail Black livery. Um, well, animus black. I don't really know, but uh, yeah, these engines were quite cool. I like them. Um, well, I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, please um, leave a video idea in the comment section below. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit the notification hit the notification bell just so you don't miss any of my new videos that I upload. And don't forget to subscribe for more. Bye.